Well, here at Game Mom, we're all about bringing you stories of athletes and their faith. But there are some places in the world where one's faith prohibits them from playing sports. Well, here's a story where a young girl is breaking down those barriers. These days, we hear too many stories of trouble and violence coming from the land of Pakistan, too often against the Christian minority. But rarely do we hear any good news. Well, a young girl from the city of Karachi is changing all that. Joanne Thomas is the first Christian to ever represent the nation of Pakistan in women's soccer. And her mother couldn't be happy. You see, she was a great track runner in her youth, but was denied the right to run for her country simply because of her Christian faith. But that type of discrimination has not stopped her daughter on the soccer field. In a country where women are more often known for making soccer balls for World Cup rather than scoring with them, Joanne has had to face the hurdle of her gender as well as her Christianity. Remember, this is the land where Malala was shot by the Taliban for daring to be a girl who wanted to learn. This is the land where 38 attacks on the Christian community have burned churches to the ground and claimed over 200 lives. Yet, through it all, Joanne has kept smiling and training day after day in the schoolyard at St. Lawrence Church, becoming so skilled that the Baluchistan United Soccer Club chose her for their team, going on to win their first women's national title ever. Then shortly after her 17th birthday, another first. Joanne was invited to don the green and white of Pakistan and make her international debut in soccer. Pakistan won the South Asian Football Federation Championship. But the greatest victory, both her club and her national team, treating Joanne as a friend and teammate rather than a minority from another religion. This blessing has given Joanne a new dream, to one day play for Pakistan in the Olympics and the World Cup. I'm Andy Freeman for Game On. Great story of a girl who's overcome so much. And recently, Lindsay actually got the chance to speak with Joanne and her coach. Here now is a portion of that interview. You know, in the midst of so much uh, religious persecution from ri religious minorities in Pakistan, uh, Joanne, you have really risen to the top and breaking down barriers. You are the first Christian woman to be on the Pakistan national team. Tell me a little bit about your journey to get there. One fine day, I was practicing at the ground, at KMC ground, and um, there's this team senator who comes and asks his, uh, my coach, Emma Jan, can we have this girl? And that time I was studying. I was in grade eight, I guess. I was 13 years old, probably 13 years old. and. Uh, my mom wouldn't allow me. She's like, no, your studies are more important and you cannot go for the nationals. I don't know what happened. My coach spoke to my mother and she just agreed. And, you know, it was quite exciting and I was very happy about it. Yeah, and it's such so an exciting opportunity for you. You know, I know your coach is with you, Coach Juma, who kind of discovered you and gave you the opportunity um, to build a play with the guys. Coach Juma, you have experienced some persecution yourself when you were a player. How have you guys been able to bond together to encourage each other um, amongst any type of you know, resistance that you might experience? So that was the reason I started this club so that uh, our, our kids at least can get a chance. You see, because I already experienced it and uh, it was something which, uh, okay, I faced it. So I overcame it very quickly. So I made sure that the others don't go through the same thing like we went. Well, we are so excited about uh, the opportunities that you've been given, uh, Joanne and um, Coach Juma, for giving her those opportunities. We're excited to hear about the great things that you're going to get to do on the national team. We'll be uh, checking in on you. Thanks for interviewing with us today.